Let's get ready with me. I'm going to do a look today that's inspired by another video I saw. This one is talk was talking about the trends for 2020. And as we get ready, I'll tell you about what the information she get, gave and what I'm going to store in my head for my future looks. So let's begin. I'm going to do a primer on my lids. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury. Did y'all see the video with Tati's video with Charlotte Tilbury? Yes. You, you know, you know when you have Charlotte Tilbury on your channel. You have rise, you've risen to the top of the heat, right? I'm going to put some of this underneath too. I'm going to try to answer uh, a request that was in my comments a few videos ago. As I move on with this, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is a Real Techniques brush and it is the, it's the purple one. I wanted to use some different products this morning, but because I saw the Charlotte Tilbury video last night, I was inspired to pull out her product. Okay, I'm just, this is a beauty blender. I'm just trying to make sure that's nice and blended in. Looking good. So I used a mask last night while I was watching TV. I'll, I'll put a picture of it right here. And and I just allowed the serum to soak in. And I didn't use any other skincare last night. The person's video that I was watching, she was talking about that she had been to the um, she had been to the spring fashion shows in New York. And the trends for makeup was a more natural look. So I'm using the Scott Barnes palette today and I'm beginning with the color Muted all over my lid. And I'm using an E35 brush. More or less just to set my eyeshadow primer my magic away. Next, I'm going to take the color Vintage. I'm sticking the tips. Okay, this is also in response to a comment. I'm sticking the, just the tips of the brush in Vintage. I'm going to lay it on the bone and sweep it across. Tips of the brush. This is the same brush, still the E35. Now I'm gonna take Foxy. So the trend for 2020 is more natural. Natural hair, uh, not wearing the ridiculously long extensions anymore. Um, not the, no more ridiculously long nails with all the silly crystals, piles of crystals, just not so, just, leaning more natural, a natural texture of hair, a natural length of hair, a natural makeup, natural nails. And I do realize that there's a, some of us that don't lean natural, like me, so it'll be a little, a little tough. All right, I'm gonna take the color Wonderlust, 
the pencil wonderlust all right i promised i wouldn't use pencils that we didn't have the that's all right we're using this one i'll see if i can find one that's similar that can be bought i'm going to sharpen it and i'm going to make a wing There's wing number one. And I'm immediately going to go underneath and drag it up. You know your eyelash serum's working when you have eyelashes growing out of your tear duct. Alright, I'm going to drag this one out. go back in with some more shadow. Now let's work on eyebrows. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use a eye shadow for my brows today. I'm going to use the color Temptation. This is still the Scott Barnes palette. And going in very, with a very light hand in the front. I'm going to take my Wonder Pencil and tight line because I see a lot of pink through there. I'm aiming more between my lashes than the tight line, than the top water line. I'm going to take the color laced. So, as you can see, I'm going using colors that are real close to my skin tone. And I take Brick House and go over this liner. Very close to the color of the liner. So if you don't have a pencil that's the color of this Wonderlust pencil, you could very easily use the Brick House Shadow from this palette. I'll show it to you. It's over here in the first row. I'm, I'm still using my eyebrow brush. I think I moved to a pencil brush. I'm working on this outer V now with the brick house. And then I'm going to take my brush that I was using earlier, the E35, and diffuse that out. I need a flat brush to work with the lace, which is that metallic gold. I 
I'm going to use the Lush Soap to make a soap brow. I used my Rose Water Mist, this one, to wet my brush. When I brush my brows up, I'll be able to see where I need to fill in more. Back into the temptation. All right, now I'm gonna put a highlight underneath my brow bone and I'm going to use Angelic. A pencil brush would be good for this step, or a concealer brush. I'm using a random one, and it's shaped like this. All right, let's do it under The bottom on the um, bottom lash line, I'm going to use Brick House again. I'm using my pencil brush to do this. And then I'm going to take Retro and go underneath that. I'll show you Retro in just a second. So I put Brick House and Retro underneath my eyes. All right, I'm going to curl my lashes, still using the Red Ann and Fields, and now I'm going to powder my lashes so that my mascara will stick better. This is the method that I used before I found out about my mascara primer. All right. The Length Matters worked really well the other day, so I'm gonna use that again by Julep. And I'm going to work that into the roots and drag it up. So what are my plans for my hair in 2020 since natural is the look? Well, I'm thinking I look pretty natural already. I know the pops of highlight in the front are a little bit. But relatively, it's pretty natural in comparison, wouldn't you say? This brush has really got a nice comb on it. It's really grabbing those lashes. So Ruth had a question about covering up redness. I have a corrector right here. It's a random brand. It's called Alabaster, but it's got a a chartreuse tint to it, greeny, greeny yellow. And I'm gonna put it on this spot right here. It's a little precancerous spot that always stays red. And I'm going in the gently. Um, whatever you use, usually it's a cream product. 
I would put on my moisturizer and primer and everything else first. And see it disappeared. See if I can find something else red. All right, let's do my lip since it's red. It immediately brings down the red. So find a greenish corrector and gently dot it in to the red areas. And then move on to something else. And let that set up so you don't wipe it away. So, uh, something with a greenish undertone counteracts red. All right, let's move along. So far, I have on my primer by Bite. I have on the by Terry in my nasal labial folds, which bounces light out to make them not look so deep. And I started with my foundation and I have it on mostly everywhere. I'm using my Sigma 3D HD brush to apply it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply makeup to my nose now that I've corrected that spot. See, it's completely gone. And I'm going to go back with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender. To perfect this application. Although it looks pretty good anyway. But I like, I like the beauty blender step. Around your nose, uh, around my nose, I don't know about your nose, uh, we often, there, I have some dilated capillaries. So, let's go in around there to erase the red. Now I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and make sure that application is seamless. I'm going to blend out any curling iron burns, scars that I have underneath. They've pretty much turned white now. And now I'm going to take my medium one powder change maker, change maker flexible coverage press powder. So it's, it's got a really nice mirror. It's really a pretty compact. And I'm going to take my tapered face brush. It's F25. And apply that before I go in with my bronzer so it glides on evenly. Today I'm going to use this bronzer. It's this color. It's called Totally Toasted. I don't know what's similar to it. If before I put this video up, I have a chance to go by Ulta, I'll go, I'll take this in my pocketbook and swatch and see if I can find something similar. I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush that I always use for my 
bronzer contour step. I want a more defined contour on my nose. I'm going to use my sculpting contour stick again. And I'm going to work that in. We'll start down here. I'm going to pull this down. Yeah, I start getting impatient and want to put my fingers in there. I'm going to blend that up. And I'm going to take my makeup brush and run this along the bottom of that contour. And I'm going to put some highlight on my nose. I'm going to use the milk today. Okay, I'll take my beauty blender. All right, I'm going to put some Brightener concealer underneath my eyes, and I'm using the Milk Flex Concealer. And I'm going to take my favorite concealer brush, the Soft Blend Concealer. I'm going to take my contour put it there I'm going to take my purple highlighter from here Called Moon River. I think there's some other companies that have a purple powder. Mac used to. I don't know if they still do or not. Then I'm gonna go back where I accidentally hit my eyeshadow underneath. And drag that down. And I'm going to take my powder brush and powder that so it doesn't move. I think I'm going to give myself some more contour up here.
I'm going to use my Beauty Blender for this. Move it up into my hairline so I don't have any white lines up here. All right. Let's do another coat of mascara. I'm going to go in with the It this time. I'm going to give my lashes a break again today and not put any glue any lashes on. I'm going to use my bronzer as my blush again today. I'm going to use a shadow from Scott Barnes as my highlight. I'm going to use lace. Got the highlight too low. It's gonna make my nose look like it's bent over. Take some more powder. Wetting my soap brow applicator again. Let's do a I'm going to use the Sigma waterline pencil. Let's do lips. I'm going to take a lip liner from Bite Beauty, I mean from Bare Minerals. It's called Freestyle. It's along the same lines as the Ice Latte from Kylie, the Cappuccino from Ripple, Rimmel. And I'm gonna take the lipstick from Too Faced. It's called Sex on the Peach. That did not give me the look I wanted. I'm gonna take this color. This is Stepping Out from MAC. It is a dazzle glass. There we go. That's what I wanted. Stepping out dazzle glass from Mac. And the freestyle pencil from Bare Minerals. Okay. I want to add a little more powder. This is a peach powder from Too Faced. It's called Peach Perfect. I wanted to try this today. So we're going to add this to the top of everything.
Oh yeah. It adds a little je ne sais quoi. And I think it's sweet. So there's my natural look. All right, I have on my outfit for today. I have on my quilted Spanx, quilted leggings. I have on a Rails animal print t-shirt. It's short sleeve and I need it to be warm, so I have on my free bird. I think it, I don't know what it's called. Maybe called Henley sweater, but it's cashmere, so it's really warm. And I have on my combat boots again today. These are the Spanx. I'm probably still not gonna be warm enough. I'll probably have to wear a puffer over the top. It, it dropped suddenly overnight and it was chilly today. So here's my look. I'm going to fix a coffee and I'll meet y'all in the car.